Leo Tolstoy kept a diary for 63 years. Here we can find his key ideas born out of a constant search for meaning and the distress of life's realities. There was too much of everything in him, thousands of characters. All those Bilkonskis, Natasha Rostovs, Anna Kareninas, but I think that he lacked something all his life. What exactly? It's as if I am the only one who is not insane. I live in a madhouse run by the mad. Beyond Pictures in 3D reveals the torment of the man. We sense his unique dialogue with a world where, for most, death is a constant presence. But from his deepest thoughts came the belief, endlessly argued, that death is not the end of life, but how to convey this to others. Lova, I want to talk to you. Yes, what about? Forgive me if I didn't mean this and read your diary. How to make others understand the magic of life where at one extreme there is enmity and madness, while at its opposite serenity and love. The diary sheds light on Yasnai Polyano, his estate, through the prism of the writer's innermost thoughts and his deeds, his dealings with others and the challenges of their thoughts from their diaries against an ever-changing cultural landscape. You talk so well about happiness in your books, but what about yourself? Lova, you are sick. What then of this I, which suddenly appeared at birth? What was my I then? What is it now? There is something enigmatic here. I can't understand it. Tolstoy is physically present only on the fringes of the action, but there are stereo photographs from the archives to remind us of his time and the remembrance of others to keep him center stage throughout. Lev Nikolaevich should have been put in jail by the day of his jubilee, which would have given him deep moral satisfaction. Life is movement. Our misery comes from what we want when we want to stem its course. Look at it like someone fretfully trying to cling on to any number of things while walking. Leo Tolstoy, Beyond Photography in 3D.